Good morning, everyone. This is vacation day. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Sway control bar. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. This is the first time we've ever used it, but I think it's gonna be a game changer, at least for us, and it could be for you if you've never used one before and you have a smaller camper or like a pop-up like this. All right, so quick update for you guys. So I've got the hitch in place, that's ready to go. We're gonna be loading up the van in just a few minutes. We won't be putting on the sway bar until we get on the highway. It, from what we've read and researched, it's said to, you shouldn't really put it on in neighborhoods because of all the turns and whatnot, um, but that you really wanna use it when you're more so on straightaways and I guess coming off of exits and that sort of thing. So I might have to adjust the tension a little bit, but um, we won't put it on there until we at least get on the highway, so. All right, so we've got the van pretty much loaded up. It is heavy. I'm gonna go ahead now and get this hooked up and we're gonna be leaving soon. Can you like get a nice, like this might be the thumbnail right here. Just do what you gotta do. On the side of the highway. So now we're on the side of the highway, putting this sway bar on. Yeah, because this is what you do. It's a two person job. They haven't passed me yet. Uh, I'll tell you. Can't turn out of the yeah. driveway. Tighter? Tighter. Good. Right there, right there. 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 So we just got done at Cracker Barrel and I've got this hooked up now. I put the pins in and I was gonna wait till we got on the highway to put this back on, but I'm just gonna do it now and tighten it down and just, I don't know, we're just gonna see how it goes. So let's get rolling. All right, what's up everyone? So <clears throat> it's day three here and it's been a little bit of a crazy time. Uh, haven't had a lot of time to just stop and record something or even think about much. We've been kind of on the go doing activities and you know keeping the kids busy and we like to stay pretty active on our vacations. So I wanted to do a quick wrap up on the sway bar control. So I just wanted to share with you my experience. I really wanted to show some footage of us actually driving but I don't really have a way to do that. <clears throat> we were also kind of rushed to get here so it is what it is. Um, it made a world of a difference. Like, I can't even tell you how much smoother it felt. Essentially when we didn't have it on, if we made it past 60 miles an hour, the whole thing would start going back and forth. And whenever I hit a bump before and I had to kind of get it realigned with the car, it would take a good like 15 seconds of it just going back and forth. And that was tough. So. With the sway bar, if it swayed at all, it would be maybe two sways. It would go back and forth and then it would stop, like almost immediately. And I know at one point I got up to 70 miles an hour. I don't know if I went above that, but even at 70, it, it felt great. Um, now I did take it into a place where we stopped to eat and I was making some somewhat sharper turns than you know you would on a highway. And it, it creaks a little bit because it's pushing the metal bar in and out. And that's interesting. Um, but it didn't break or anything. And, and as I've been told, that's what it's supposed to do. So you can take it into those areas, but uh, it feels a little weird, but it's also inconvenient to have to pull off on the side of the highway and like <laughs> put it on or take it off. So I did put it on at the restaurant and it was fine. It, once we got on the highway, it worked how it was supposed to. But uh, 
that was the only kind of weird part. But again, that's what, from what I've been told, that's what it's supposed to do. So, I mean, it did it did the job we needed it to do. And I don't remember the exact cost. I can put it on the screen, but I definitely think it was worth it. Um, if you have a smaller travel trailer or camper or pop-up or whatever you might have, I would 100% say if you're having sway issues, definitely consider investing in one. And again, I can put the link to ours, but there are plenty out there. Um, the installation was super simple. There's another video, you can check it out right here. Um, but 100% would recommend it. And uh, I apologize, this video kind of got a little bit longer than I planned on it being, but I appreciate you guys watching and hope you guys have a good one.